Welcome back everybody to Techpress. Let's take a look into how we can change the order of our products. So, as you can see here, I'm going to go into my home section and check it out here. As you can see, we have like the browse our latest products and we have some feature products. But I don't want that this product appears at the very first part of the actual product. I want, let's say for example, only appearing this and go into view all. And this product actually wanted to be at the last one, the gift card, I wanted to see this, the private teachings being in speedy chat. So there's a lot of elements that I wanted to delete, but there's a lot of elements that I wanted to go and feature it into the very upper side. So how we can do this? So there's actually one way of how we can do this in a very easy, easy way. So what you need to do is to go here into your Shopify dashboard. Now, once you are in here, what you want to do is to go into your products. And here into products, you wanted to make sure that you have all the products that you wanted to add or see directly into your Shopify. So as you can see, I have a bunch of elements that I can add directly into my Shopify, which that means I can only go into the step number two. The step number two is to go directly here into collections inside the products section. Now inside collections, what I want to do is to create a new collection and get started with the collection of the products that I only wanted to add into the page or the feature products. So let's say that this is our, these are featured products of the 2023. Now, here I'm going to just leave this like that. I don't want to focus a lot here. Now I have the collection type. Let's go into manual. Now here, uh, what I wanted to do is to just hit into save. There we go. My feature product collection has now been added automatically. So that means that I can just get started with adding the products here. So I'm going to hit down into browse and let's get started with the very first one that I wanted to see into the feature products, which is this one, this one, I scroll a little bit down, this one, the scrolling up, and this one. Let's go into add. And now as you can see, I have the title here, the images here has now been added successfully. So as you can see, I have number one, number two, number three, and number four, which that means that if I wanted to change the size or let's say like the numbers, let's say that I wanted to delete this, I hit into delete. Now this is number one and I can just add one by one. So I can have more chances to add the elements as I am just getting started here. So check it out here. I'm going to go here into browse. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Now it says sort, let's go for manually. And I move this as the latest one. Now what is left to be done is to change the feature products, right? Because these are the feature products that we have just seen, but we had changed that we haven't changed that yet. So let's just close all of these tabs. I'm going to go here back into online store. Inside my online store, I'm going to focus into themes. And let's go into customize. So I click customize. And now I scroll a little bit down. And here, as you can see, I have my feature products. So these feature products, as you can see into the lip pod, we have all of my products. I wanted to change that collection. So I changed collection. And instead of all, we chose the collection that we had previously created, which is the feature product of the 2023, remember? So I click this, I click into select, and my feature products has now been added successfully. So let's go into maximum product shows. Let's go for five number of columns let's go for two and we are actually good there so i scroll a little bit up uh hidden safe so as you can see it is actually really simple to change the custom elements of my store if you see that there's something missing you can always go back exit go into products inside of products collections inside my collections i have my products one two three four make sure this one appears it active and then you're actually good to go so as you can see, it is not that hard to add your feature products to change the custom events and the order of the products as you are getting started with. Everything should be edited directly from your products, the collection, and of course you want to make sure that you have enough inventory in order to add those products into your store, into your markets, the types, and all of that. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great toes here. Thank you so much for watching the video guys, hopefully we can all see you next time.